Hey everybody, James Marin here, and I'm with my gyro, and I wanted to make a quick video about gyros and how they relate to cameras and Steadicams. So one of the most common reasons why somebody would want to use a gyro on their Steadicam rig is to combat wind. If you've ever tried to do just a really slow push in and it's very windy, you've probably experienced that your rig wants to pan because of the wind pushing the rig side to side. And so it's very difficult to just have your lens pointed straight and for it to aim completely straight the whole time. So using a gyro essentially fixes that because the forces, the gyroscopic forces, makes the rig point completely straight and it sort of helps battle the wind for you. So now you could probably hear, because I'll have it closer to the my mic here, that's the sound of the mechanism inside of physically spinning. It's spinning so fast that it creates that gyroscopic effect that I keep talking about. Um, and that effect is what helps the camera or the Steadicam rig stay stable. So the orientation in relation to the lens and where this is pointed in relation to where the lens is pointed matters. Right now I have it set, you gotta be really delicate because it's, it's spinning really fast and you don't want to break the mechanism that's spinning. Right now it's on an Anton Bauer plate. So if I were to put it on the bottom of my sled, the lens would be pointed this way. So this configuration is perpendicular to the lens. If I want it to tilt, and I'll try my best to make it seem like I'm, right now I'm gonna hold it still and not influence it. But if I needed to tilt, I wanted to go like this really quickly, see how it's, it's adjusting on its own. It, it wants to, it wants to counteract the tilt. So this is hurting you and preventing you from tilting if you have this perpendicular from the lens. Now if I change the orientation and I have it this way parallel with the lens and I do that same action of tilting, now I could tilt much smoother. It's not fighting me unless I, unless I do it very quickly. If I do it quickly like this, it, it, it's jerky. But if I go slow, then it doesn't, it doesn't wobble in any way. So there, there are limitations to this. It's not like you could do very fast like whip tilts but if you're shooting and you need to do tilting, then maybe this orientation is going to be best for your shot. If you need to really stabilize the roll axis, then if I was moving like that, then it's very stable in the roll axis. So depending on what you're doing and what your shot is, you wanna orient the gyro according to what you're shooting. So if you're doing, let's say, a shot that is moving in profile and you have it in this orientation or parallel with the lens and I'm moving like this, then it's going to hurt me because it's, it's creating a wobble rather than stabilization. So if I'm doing that same profile shot and it's oriented perpendicular to the lens and I move like this, now it's far more stable and doesn't want to uh, doesn't want to roll or fight what I'm doing. If you wanted to save yourself from thinking of what orientation you need to have your gyro in according to what your shot is, then I would suggest going with what's called their X series. It would be this thing, but in the form of an X. It would be two gyros. And because you have two gyros put together, the orientation of the gyro doesn't matter anymore. But the only difference um, other than the orientation no longer mattering is it's probably twice the weight because it's two gyros put together. So here I am on the Kenyon Labs website in the stabilizer section. I just wanted to quickly show you all the different gyros that they offer, starting with the KS2, the KS4, here they have the KS6, which is what I have, and all the way up to the KS8. And if you go below, we have the X series, which, uh, which is what I was talking about earlier, starting with the KS 2x2, the 4x4 all the way up to the 6x6 and the 8x8, which you could see is 
quite heavy. And here we are in the price section of the website where you could see the list for all the gyros that they offer, which uh, is just great to just be able to see just the differences in price for everything. Um, as you could see, the higher that you go up, and if you go with the X series, the, the more that the gyro costs. It's, um, it's a great tool to have. There's several different mounting options. I chose to go with uh, an Anton Bauer plate to go directly into my sled. I found that that's just the easiest, best way for me personally, but there's a bunch of different configurations that people have sort of come up with. And uh, I'm not sure how many of these this company Kenyon actually offers. Um, I know that I bought mine like this and they included the plate. I, well, you pay for the plate, but it's all like a all in one sort of package. Anyways, thanks so much for watching. Hope you enjoyed the video. Hope you got something helpful out of this. And if you have any questions, feel free to leave a comment below. And other than that, I hope you have a nice day.